Hi, my name is Gregory Patterson. I'm one of the lead stylists at Blow, the New York Blow Dry Bar. And I'm happy to be here with you today sharing a sneak preview from our global flagship academy. So on Jessica's hair today, we're going to walk through just a little bit of our most requested signature style, our 201, part of our essentials program. Now what's different and amazing about our blowouts is we really break it down to a science. Blowouts are as important as a haircut and color for us. So we have specific sectioning to deliver better blow dry results for you every single time. We've also created a specific product line spe specifically developed to make your blowouts last longer. On Jessica, she wants mega root lift at the root. So we're using our root lift concentrate just where we want it. So we learn in the academy that we apply our products just where we need them and we massage it in. We use just enough because these products are designed to give you better blow dry results every single time. What we're learning in the academy is how to change our body, how to change and manipulate our brush position to give you a better different blowout. We'll be working with box sections, making sure to get the root completely dry before moving on and manipulating the mid shaft and ends. So really paying attention to my blow dryer position, really paying attention to the tension that I'm using to manipulate the hair texture and transform it into the look that your client desires. Once we have completed the root, we move and reposition our body. It's essential because if we're doing blowouts all day long, every single day, we want to take, the, take it and become really easy and take the pain off of our body. So let's just move our body. Let's allow the body position to create our over direction for us, which is natural body and volume. Just as when we're hair cutting, over direction is giving us graduation, the same rules apply to a blowout. Let's take this once thought of just a finish and make it a really special service and something that our guests can't get anywhere else. So just by moving my body in front, I'm manipulating my brush using a locking and unlock technique. We're building in that body and volume. How we're evolving what we do from how we've used to do it is by pulling. We don't want to pull. Let's build it in from the base, really locking and unlocking, making sure that we get those ends completely in. Whatever tool feels great in your hand is the exact tool that you need to achieve these looks. What you need to learn is a sectioning system that allows you to move through really efficient. A product line specifically developed to give you better blow dry results. What we know is blow drying and heat styling takes proteins out of the hair. So if we can use a product line specifically formulated with pure protein blends to put that back, what happens is we get better, longer lasting blow dry results that are fuller, healthier, and shinier. So now, Jessica's parting in the center. We've come up with a system, a mohawk sectioning system that incorporates our parting. Let's say the clip is her parting. We need even distribution of volume on both sides. So what we found is just by utilizing our mohawk section with our parting in the center, we achieve that that body and volume on both sides. Jessica wants that great root lift. So let's just take our root lift concentrate, spray directly at the roots where we want it. I don't need root lift through the mid shaft and ends. I just want it where I need it. Through the mids and ends, I've used a heat protection spray. I've also used a blow dry accelerating lotion to accelerate my blow dry, but we formulated it without the use of alcohol. We want to use the heat from our blow dryer to help us work through that blowout much quicker instead of alcohol that's dehydrating the hair. So notice again, I'm using a box section. Before moving to my mid shaft and ends, I will get through to manipulate my root right at the base. I will move my body around, get the hair out of the way so I can see exactly what I'm looking for. I'm moving back to the front 
I can see Jessica's roots that I need to manipulate and transform. And then I move my body to the right so I can see. Once the roots complete, we go back to base. The hair is taken away from the guest's face. And now let's start our locking and unlocking technique again to build that bend right in through the hair, right from the base. So we're evolving the way that we blow out hair. We're no longer stretching everything out. We're now building it from the base, allowing our product and our technique to work hand in hand so that you are get, giving your guests better blow dry results every single time. Jessica is actually a uh, personal guest of mine in the salon. She can wear her blowout for an entire week. Because of my sectioning and because of the usage of product that's specifically designed for certain areas, I'm not using something that's going to build up and weigh, weigh down her hair. I'm actually using it where I need it and just enough. Then I'm applying something just through my mids and ends. I don't want to compromise her blowout. I don't want her to feel it. I just want it to support the hair. So speaking a little bit about uh, specific sectioning, everything has a purpose with haircuts and color and blowouts are just as important. In the back, we pre-sectioned everything. We have little triangles, different uh, geometric shapes to support what's happening. We've shifted the head back as far as our division point from front to end. One of the triangles here will act as a support system for our mohawk on top. We also demonstrate a pin curling technique to really allow that, that style to set and it's really luxurious. It's out of your guest's face. It's not dangling in front, wet hair on wet hair. It's a really efficient way to blow out hair and build a better blowout for your guests. So working through the root, making sure to really get that root taken care of before moving to the mids and ends. This is where blowouts are made, made or broken right here. It's essential to get that root. It's essential to pay attention to your body position. Essential to build in that body and volume right from the get-go. So once you feel that it's dry, you can use your cold shot to set everything in. One more pass here. Right at base. My locking and unlocking technique. All the way through to the end. Cold shot. Twisting the hair out and away. Now after everything has been cooled, you release your pin curl clips. Just guide your guest's hair back. And you see, you just get megawatt body and volume. It's touchable, it's shiny, it's bouncy, full of life hair that she can wear for an entire week. Now, you want to make this last? Use a beach blow spray, evolve your blowout. Use a faux dry, dry shampoo to really give your blowout more body and volume, absorb any oil and residue. What you learn in our academy is a great way to build a foundation to really give your guests a blowout that's like no other. Thank you.